Oh, I'm so scared at this. Why won't you? Is she not trying to open up? Fight! apartments. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. She's tasting like winning and success and money and money. Welcome to my empty apartment tour. Cheersies. I'm so excited. It's very echoey. Let me put the lights on. Oh yeah. It's very echoey because it's very empty. So welcome to my empty apartment tour, girls and guys and whoever else is watching. I am so excited. Can you hear the echo? Anyways, let's get into this tour, okay? This is the front door when you walk in. This is what you see. You get a view of the kitchen. I'll start with over here. This is my laundry room. It's a stacked washer dryer. These are like gifts that I got when I like walked in, but I turned it, I put them away and I turned them around so you guys can't see where I live because they're very branded for the building. But just know it's a big old water flask and a yoga mat. And this is like my welcome packet and then I bought some gum. But anyways, that is, you know. So it's stackable, the shelving obviously for your laundry needs. I will probably keep my laundry basket here. Um, I'm not gonna put too much in this room because it's also where my hot water heater is, but we'll close her up. So cute. So next to the laundry is the kitchen. First of all, do we see how gorgeous these fixtures are? I'm obsessed. The kitchen um, cabinets have this like bluish gray it's much darker in person but it has this bluish gray like color to them the hardware is stainless steel but you can see the color there we have a whirlpool dishwasher pretty you know simple oven and because my stovetop is glass this is the cleaner they recommend for the glass stovetop and they just bought it for me and it's, it's sitting there so you know very happy there the clock is actually accurate, which I'm so grateful for. It's 322, microwave, fridge, and so much like space for countertop. So let me, y'all not really getting it. Okay, so much countertop space, so freaking much. I just, I can't, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know what I'm gonna keep in this kitchen. But this is the fridge. I, I have some mangoes in there because we are going to be hungry. And I have some uh, Prosecco in there because we're going to pop her later. Hello. Yeah, we need to celebrate. Are you kidding me? And so out of the kitchen is the living room. Now all of this area is like hardwood flooring. But this is the living room and it leads out to the balcony. It's very bright, but it leads out to the balcony. So this is the outdoor space, the balcony. The balcony leads outside, so you can kind of see like the outdoor gym area. And this is where people keep like their dogs and they have hammocks for you there as well to like lounge because it's summertime. The pool is on the other side, but the gym is like, so there's an indoor gym through the glass there and then there's outdoor gym here. So very excited. That's the rest of the living room. We're going to go into one of the bedrooms. This is gonna be my bedroom. And this has carpet, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but it's like growing on me because just the change of texture on the toesies <laughs> are nice. Yeah, and I love that these blinds are like, like they're the ones that you like pull down pull and it's like a cloth blind as opposed to me having like the, the slotted ones. 
absolutely love. I'm gonna have great sunlight coming in, I can already tell. So my bed will probably like, I will probably face this way as opposed to me facing this way because I don't want to wake up and see people working out. Like, don't, don't do that to me. There is no light in the room, like no lights on the ceiling, but it's fine. There's a lot of light so far. And we're gonna enter. So you could enter the bathroom, like straight from the living room, like straight in here, this way. What, why am I lying? This is the guest bathroom, but I'm gonna turn this bathroom into like my spa bathroom because it's the one with the tub. So it has a rainfall shower head and it has like built in caddies into the tub and the the tile is gray and I freaking love it. It's a good offset but I'm gonna turn this into a spa bathroom because I'm just gonna chill. It comes with this like, mm, I'm never really gonna, I'm, I'm never gonna use this because I'm never gonna take a shower in here. I'm just gonna take baths in here. So I have plans for this. There's only one vanity and there's only one of me. <laughs> simple same color like cabinetry and this is the first walk-in closet yes I said first because there's two shelving here double shelving on like on this side and then one shelf over here and you know a fairly big wall there also in the bathroom there is the linen closet there so cute yeah so this is gonna be the guest bathroom slash my spa bathroom it's just really relaxing what I'm gonna do here is gonna be completely different than what I'm gonna do in my actual bathroom so let's go to my actual bathroom and take a look so on the way from the living room this is just like a coat closet I'm gonna I don't know obviously coats probably keep some shoes in here yet I'm not too sure because I never, I always double up the purpose for my coat closet, I never just use it for just coats alone. So, this is my bedroom. It'll be straight from the kitchen on the other side of the apartment. And, you know, same thing. Ooh, there's somebody working out. I'm not gonna really show him, but there's somebody out there working out. That's another thing about this building. It's like a lot of, let me face it, a lot of like younger professionals probably working at the same, same place I work at. So my goal is to make friends. How well that's gonna work, I don't know. Don't, you can hear him working out? All right. Chad, that's gonna be me too in the mornings, okay? Um, but anyways, carpeted room. Same thing with the blinds, you can like pull it down. Gorgeous, gorgeous views, but again, I'll probably wake up facing this side as opposed to the side where the gym is over there. So there's my plan. Again, same thing, no light fixtures on the ceiling, which is a little weird, but it's okay. We move, great natural lighting coming in here. And this is the second walk-in closet. So one shelf over here and multiple shelves over here. I don't have that many clothes, like, ever. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this closet versus the other closet, but we'll make it work. Obviously, there's no carpet in the bathroom. I mentioned that in the other one, but there's no carpet in the bathroom. Linen closets in the second one as well. And my favorite thing are the double sinks. I don't know why, because I'm gonna be living by myself. And this would be my bathroom, my bathroom alone. Guests could use the other one. Which, when I say guests, I probably have my family come visit me, my friends. When I start dating somebody's son, we'll clearly we'll be using this bathroom and not that one, but maybe he could use the other bathroom. <laughs> Towel rack, commode, tissue, I mean, tissue, toilet paper. This is a standing shower, but it's freaking huge. Let me, I'm gonna show y'all like getting this. It is huge. Same rainfall shower head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for now. I'll probably like switch it out for like the, the handheld ones because I really love those ones, especially when I'm doing my hair. But I think a rainfall shower head will also be good for when I'm doing my hair. Anyways, same thing, built in caddies there. See how the glass up there? It's just like there's no cover to it. I love that because, oh, oh this one doesn't, oh, oh, shh, okay. This one, this door doesn't move. This handle here doesn't move, so I'll probably like 
there's a, a thing here for my towel. So I'm not sure if I'll use this for my towel or if I'll end up like hanging stuff off of here. But I just, I, I just love this. The tiles, again, you've got that dark gray color and it just seamless into like, the walls are not, the walls are gray, but it's like two different shades. Of, I don't know y'all, the attention to detail. Two different shades of gray. So my apartment is not giving super like, sterile hospital vibes is giving just like a modern thing and I'm glad I got this unit because my go-to is like you know the white and silver finishes but this gray and silver is giving it's giving it's giving what it needs to give I just see myself you know getting ready in the morning this will probably be for like my toothbrush and stuff over here like this one and this one will probably be for like my makeup and stuff getting ready over here I most likely like as I'm as I'm thinking through I probably will like you know get ready here and then I'll probably keep like my perfumes and like my everyday clothing like work and stuff over here and you know in the closet here i absolutely love this space i love what the apartment is looking like i like how they're not too stressful like this building's not stressful at all the parking situation is chef's kiss lots and lots of parking lots and oh he's back let me get away from the window i don't know it's a little weird like it's a little weird that i can see him but i know he can't see me because i'm like higher up but i know i can see him and i don't want to watch another man work out mm, that's a little weird Let's go talk in the living room. Let me turn off these lights, girl. Who gonna pay your bills, child? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is the new space. Don't you love? I freaking love. I have an island here. Bar stool's obviously gonna be there. And when I'm I'm gonna have like my couch here and my TV there. I love how they have like both things on the wall. Like I could put a TV on this wall because there's like a ethernet if I still had cable, which I don't. And it's the same thing on the other wall. I like how they thought about putting an outlet in the middle of the wall, that way I won't have any like cords hanging. Yeah, there's a problem they thought of a lot of things and I love them for it. I absolutely do. Anyways, that's the end of this, the apartment tour. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I can answer any of your luxury apartment hunting journey questions in Ohio. I went through a lot of a lot of places so I kind of have some recommendations. If you're moving to Ohio, let your girl know we can be, we can be neighbors and besties and friends. But I don't leave my place so I don't know how that's gonna happen. Anyways, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Thank you for watching this video. I don't know, this has been here the whole time y'all tell me? Y'all didn't tell me I had this piece hanging out the whole time? Love you long time and I will see you all in the next video which will be moving vlog number three. So let's go.